guys, Robin Norgren from Josie's Art School, getting ready to show you another directed line drawing. Um, this um, theme is animals, and the animal that we're going to draw is an owl. What I like about this drawing is that there's lots of sh shapes, obviously, that are very prominent in, in this um, paint painting and um, it's very easy to put together but I think that your students are really going to enjoy it. Um, I have here a pencil, a 9 by 12 piece of paper, an ink pen or you can use marker and watercolor paints and that's just because I like to mix it up with my students. You can also feel free to use um, colored pencils or crayons or even markers um, or a combination of all four. Um, I find that this is about a 20 to 30 minute lesson um, you always have those early finishers, but I think that once they really get into it, they'll really experience the meditative qualities of the lines that you're drawing, and I truly hope they enjoy it. All right, let's get started. All right, first you're going to take your pencil, and you're going to draw a line down the left side of the page, and then uh, make almost like a, um, a half moon at the top of the page that's going to represent the um, the ears of the owl and then come back all the way down. Next you're going to take your pencil and you're going to draw two really large circles to represent the eyes. Then you're going to put another circle in the middle and then a very tiny dot to give those eyes a little bit of character. Next, you're going to draw a line towards the middle. So you're going to do that widow's peak sort of look. Draw another line and then draw back up to the top. You can already see that it's starting to come together. Next, you're going to draw a beak right here in the middle of those circles for the eyes. You're going to draw a dividing line, like a scooping or a chevron kind of look underneath the beak. It's okay if those lines get a little bit uneven. Just draw those in. And actually, you can add more lines here. So as you can see, there's this very interesting series of lines that start to form even when you make little mistakes. Now you're going to add an upside down rectangle or sorry, triangle underneath the eyes. Then you're going to start making little scallops in that little area underneath those triangles. And then you're going to do the same thing around those triangles. Now you're going to add some little tips up above, almost the shape of leaves, little stylized leaves there. Going to start to put scalloped shapes in between now the widow's peak. Oops, a little too far there. And then you want to add a little bit circling. Again, adding more detail to the ears. 
Now you're going to add um, little, what I guess you would call the um, body or the chest area of the owl. And then you're going to draw some lines. Then you're going to start to add some loops to simulate the wings of the owl. And you're going to do this on both sides of the owl. All right, so for the next step, now that we've added all the details to the owl, is we're going to start to paint the owl. And again, I'm choosing to, with my students to paint it, but I've also had times where I just use um, crayons and markers and um, uh, colored pencils and let them work with that. Um, Right here, I'm using uh, watercolor paint, as you can see. Um, you can also do a mixture of all of them, just depending on the time that you have. What I like about this is, again, this is just a nice, um, quick uh, process for just practicing the drawing um, um, memory of your, you know, just making the um, drawing and practicing and getting more confident, I should say, um, with your um, drawing capabilities. And again, these are all just um, suggested steps for how to make this owl, but you also can allow them to just um, make it however they like, especially when they figure out where you're going, because there'll be times when I won't say where what it is that we're um, drawing. I will just give them directed steps. And then um, if they already know how to draw an owl or they have a very special way they like to draw the owl, then I um, invite them to do that. But I also challenge them that if they have um, drawn owls before to maybe try this way and it might uh, influence uh, and change and actually mature the way it is that they've made owls in the past. All right, so I'm going to keep going with this painting and I will be back to show you the finished product. All right, so when the owl is all completed, just depending on the look of the owl, if you've used markers or uh, pencils or crayons, uh, we used, of course, watercolor paints. You can then take a black pen once this is all dry and outline all the details just to help that um, owl have a little more dimension and pop. Hope you enjoyed this uh, lesson. Uh, if you haven't seen my drawing lesson on piggies, make sure and look that one up. And then uh, also check out my um, library of over 50 art videos for you to use in the classroom or as a group setting with adults. Um, thank you so much for coming by Josie's Art School and hope to see you again soon.